Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and uh, this is going to be a really quick video because I've got breakfast cooking on the stove at the minute as I'm recording this. So let's just get straight into it. They announced a brand new DLC, and it looks like this time it's going to be an equipment pack, so it's not just weapons, but also equipment for us to use. Right here it says, Hello, earlier today one of our reserve wardens called our office landline to inform us that a new premium DLC shipment of weapons and equipment is scheduled to arrive soon. Arriving in this October, so they don't give us an exact date, but we know it's going to be in October. The Ambusher Pack and new cosmetics bring a whole new way of hunting to the table and present more options to look good while you're at it. So as we read along, you will see that this right here is an electronic collar, as well as a 44 Magnum lever action. So that's pretty sick. It's definitely not what I was expecting, but I do think there will be a lot of use for it. And right here, it kind of talks about a little bit the uh, quest, 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 quest. <laughs> that a red pro electronic collar gain advantage by remotely calling animals to a location. This clever device comes prepared with sounds for every callable animal species and can be monitored from long distances via the accompanying remote. So that's going to be really awesome. This is something the game has needed because the Hunter Classic has electronic collars and they are absolutely incredible. So the fact that they're finally bringing this into the Hunter Call of the Wild is going to be really helpful. This is going to be one of those things where you can set it up in a very convenient spot and then just have a stand set up in another area. This is going to be a uh, great addition for those of you that like to call the animals in and wait for them to walk up to the location. It's just going to give you a little bit more uh, versatility with like how you get your animals to go to the location that you want them to go to. And then we got the uh, Marathi Model 1894 Experience, a modern take on the concept of sharing ammunition with a revolver sidearm. This lever-action rifle pairs classic design with the versatility of rail-mounted optics, such as the new True Vision Tritium Sight and the power of a 44 Magnum cartridge. I remember not that long ago, probably like four or five months ago, I was talking about how if they added in more lever actions, I would love to see 44 Magnum and 357. So I'm really excited about this personally, though I could definitely see not everybody being excited about it. And finally, we've got the Stenberg Takedown Reeker Bow. Silently hunt your prey with the Stenberg Takedown Reeker Bow, slightly lighter in draw weight compared to its competition. This short range bow offers excellent handling and accuracy for ethical hunting. So I... I don't know how I feel about another recurve. We already have the recurve in the game. We already have the longbow. I don't know if we necessarily needed another recurve, but I guess we'll have to kind of see what it's got to offer. Because for all I know, it could be a better recurve. So I guess we'll give it a chance once it releases and see if it's better than what I expect. And now we've got more cosmetics for our weapons right here. It says, Hunters can also look forward to new cosmetics to customize their weapons, tents, and ground blinds, available as separate cosmetic packs or bundled for a discounted price. The Medved Taiga Cosmetic Pack, Verhonga Savannah Cosmetic Pack, and Parque Fernando Cosmetic Pack provide additional assorted ways to personalize your gear and blend into your favorite reserve. There'll be more information about these on release. And then right here it just talks about the uh, community stuff that's going to be going on. So stuff like Dare Drop and then of course the EW streams that happen every Tuesday. I'm assuming that we are going to get a look at some of these items in the EW stream today. So if we do, then I will do some type of an updated video or potentially just throw it in with this one. But that's going to be it for this. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a little update on the stuff coming to the Hunter Call of the Wild. We will uh, update you guys on the channel as we learn more. But for now, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.